The first suggestion that we've seen a lot is some news about James Webb. If we didn't say much, it's because the news was not that important. But since you guys want, the latest news is that on February 14th, meaning around five days ago, its camera was ready and it took a selfie. This is that photo. Some may ask, how did it take a picture of itself? Is someone out there just taking pictures of this thing? But NASA says it's the special camera that's on the tripod in front of the mirror and it basically shines back on that mirror and it could take a selfie. Basically, this camera and mirror system is designed so it could see the big mirror whenever it wants to. And that's how the picture was taken. The picture shows that the James Webb lens is not completely focused, but they're working on fixing it. The next suggestion is the Saltmen. Saltmen are six mummified people, and they were founded in 1994 in the salt mines of Chehrabad, Iran. In the six mummies, there was one woman and one child. Three of them belong to the Achaemenid era. And two of them were from the Sassanid era. The cool part about these mummies is that they were important people. They were either high rank soldiers or they were government officials. They had gold earrings, very nice clothes, and they even had leather boots. And all of them had daggers on them. And this shows that they were important. The reason they call them saltmen, because they were founded in a salt mine. And the salt kind of caused them to be mummified. They say these were important people and they were passing by this mine. And all of a sudden, a sinkhole opened up and buried them. And then they get buried underneath the salt. We get a lot of comments about NFT. NFT stands for non-fungible token. NFT is something digital that could be a video, music, or picture, but all of them are in a digital form. The simple way to say it is that you could buy a picture, music, or video that has value and you are the owner of those things. It's kind of like crypto. You go buy Bitcoin, something that you really don't have physically, but you have proof that you bought one. And whenever you want, you could get face value for it. Right now, instead of a Bitcoin, replace it with like a picture. You have to know that pictures like these get bought and sold everywhere for millions of dollars. When they ask him, why would you pay this much money for something that doesn't exist and it's digital? They say, why do people pay that much for a Van Gogh painting? Someone owns it and he could sell it for a lot of money whenever they want. But this is digital. Nobody can steal it unless they get hacked. For the next suggestion, we have to go deep into the ocean. Colossal squid. This is pretty much an octopus that lives in the southern oceans of Earth around Antarctica. This is the biggest invertebrate, meaning it has no bone. The biggest colossal squid ever found weighed around 700 kilograms and it was 10 meters in length. As you know, the blue whale is the biggest creature in the history of the planet. The blue whale doesn't really have enemies except human, and nobody can fight it, except one creature, the colossal squid. 
when they examined blue whales that were killed in the southern part of the earth, they noticed that the colossal squid is responsible. It basically wraps itself around the whale and strangles it to death. But the whales are not much in danger, because there's only about 12 colossal squids in the wild. But there's 12 of them that has been found. There might be a lot more. The oceans are so deep and mysterious that thousands of these things could hide. Since we uploaded the video about the Nobel Prize, a lot of people comment how we can achieve this award. The Nobel is given in a few different subjects. Physics, chemistry, physiology, medicine, literature, and peace. If anybody wants a Nobel Prize, they have to work in these subjects and do something insane and basically help out humanity. If you want the Nobel Prize, for example, you have to be a physicist, do something revolutionary, and that's when maybe you might be a candidate to win it. Even if you're a candidate, you won't know unless you actually win the award. Please watch the video for a complete understanding of the prize. The next suggestion is to explain the fatty liver disease. This disease is very common all around the world. Doctors say there's three main reasons why this happened. First, obesity. Reason two, diabetes. And another thing that destroys the liver and causes it to have fatty liver disease is excessive alcohol usage. How can we diagnose it? You really can't because it doesn't show any symptoms. You might get some stomach pain, and a lot of people ignore those pains. But to notice it, you have to talk to the doctor, and they could run tests to see if there's anything wrong. If someone has fatty liver disease, the best thing they can do is start exercising and eating healthy foods. Throw all junk food, sugar, alcohol away. In this case, the danger of fatty liver disease lowers a lot. But if you don't pay attention to it, it could cause liver failure. In that case, you either have to say goodbye to your life or wait to get a transplant. We looked up the data in the US and it says right now 15,000 people are waiting for a liver transplant and they have to wait for a few years. National Institute of Health of the U.S. says that 10% of the people waiting for a liver transplant die before it's their turn. Let's leave the disease aside and go into the heights. Mount Kailash. From whichever direction you look at this thing, it's a beautiful mountain. The beauty of this mountain and where it's located caused this place to be a religious place. This mountain is located in China, but it's near the border of India and Nepal. Hindus and Buddhist people believe that this is the house of God. It's not good to climb either, because if anybody steps foot on this mountain, they will be executed, because they say you're not allowed to walk on the house of God. When we made our video about milk, we said that cows cause one of the most pollutions on the planet. A lot of people asked, how do you know that and why? Do they have diesel engines inside them? First of all, the cow farms around the world need a lot of hay, so the cows have enough food. Producing the hay needs vehicles, pesticides, and most importantly, it needs a lot of water. This is just the beginning of the pollution. These animals, all they do is eat and go to the bathroom. So the gas they produce is pretty toxic. Their stomach produces a lot of methane and exits their body. 
You have to know that methane gas is 34 times more pollutant than CO2. They are not vehicles either. We can't really add catalytic converters on them. Either way, 40% of the greenhouse gases in the world are caused by cow farms, and this is a huge number. And that is why they're working hard on lab meat. A lot of environmentalists are a fan of this, and they've invested money onto it. And the most famous one is him, Leonardo DiCaprio. He has invested a lot of money in this. Bloomberg says, in the end of 2022, you could find lab meats in the stores. But lab milk is not set up yet because they've started lab meats way before them. Let's get to the next suggestion, chronophobia. Chronophobia means you're afraid of time passing. People that have this phobia feel like they have no time and the seconds are passing like light speed. They feel like they have no time to do anything and everything is ending. But when you look at it from an outside perspective, it's nothing like that. Chronophobia is a disorder that is similar to like OCD and with working on yourself and getting to know yourself, you could fix it. Since we uploaded the video about the Great Pyramids, it has been 10 months. Since we uploaded that, a lot of people commented that giant humans built these pyramids. And back in the day, humans used to be extremely big and they asked us to make a video about it. But we have to say that these are rumor. And back in the day, it was the other way around. Ancient humans were smaller than today. And the main reason was the food. Because the more civilized we got, the better food we had access to. And we had healthier and well-cooked meals. And that caused us to be taller. But we have to say that back in the day, you couldn't really find fat people. It is true that they weren't very tall, but they weren't fat. Just like usual, in the end, we're gonna say the richest people in the world right now. We have to say that since last time that Elon Musk was first, Bernard Arnold was second, and Jeff Bezos was third, nothing has changed and they're all in the same place. And you have to know that Bill Gates is in the number four position. You might say in the Rothschild video, we said that these are the richest family. Why aren't they in this list? Because they are a family and these are one person. When we say Elon Musk, we mean Elon Musk only. But the Rothschild family is hundreds of people. 